if you're looking for the best HD TVs, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturer and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we have included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the number 5th position of our list, we have Vizio LED LCD HD TV. Vizio is doubling down on quantum dot technology for 2019, with most models in the company's lineup receiving this technology that other manufacturers reserve for their pricier sets. As such, the Vaunted P-Series has now been split into two separate lines. The former P-Series is now the P-Series Quantum, adopting its name from last year's top-of-the-line model. The previous P-Series Quantum has now been designated the P-Series Quantum X and is the new flagship of Vizio's TV lineup. In addition to several technical upgrades, Vizio now offers this model in 65-inch and 75-inch screen sizes. The P-Series Quantum X shares its design with the model it replaces, with the same bezel-less appearance and minimalist appeal. It's a look that's been around for a few years, but still manages to look modern and unobtrusive at the same time. Connectivity is unchanged from last year. 5 HDMI ports, a single shared component, composed video output, one USB port, Toslink digital audio out, a single analog audio out, and an Ethernet port. Thankfully, the cable or antenna input remains after being reintroduced for the 2018 model. HDMI 1 supports ARC, while HDMI 5 is a dedicated game input, while HDMI 5 is a dedicated game input that drops HDR support in favor of lower input lag. The major upgrades this time around are under the hood, so to speak. Last year's P-Series Quantum was easily one of the top performers in terms of outright picture quality and we found nothing to fault with its class-leading black levels and we found nothing to fault with its class-leading black levels and amazing colors. Vizio has seen fit to upgrade the set anyway, doubling the black lights local dimming zones, doubling the black lights local dimming zones from 192 to 384 on the 65-inch version. Thanks to its bright and effective backlight, the P-Series Quantum X is particularly adept with HDR content. The only drawback is the narrow viewing angle despite the inclusion of an enhanced viewing angle feature. The P-Series Quantum X is best viewed from straight ahead. In any case, this is one of the rare TVs with a picture that will look as good in your home as it does in the store. Another carryover in SmartCast. Another carryover is SmartCast. It should be familiar for anyone who has used a Vizio Smart TV from the last few years. Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, YouTube, and many others come preloaded, eliminating the need to download additional apps. It's great that so many apps are included since there is still no way to install additional apps. Instead, the P Series Quantum X features built-in Chromecast and any content not covered by the built-in apps can be streamed to can be streamed to can be streamed to the TV from your phone or computer. A recent firmware update adds Apple AirPlay as well, covering both ends of the mobile streaming spectrum. Covering both ends of the mobile streaming spectrum. While the built-in smart TV interface itself is ultimately the limiting factor, we appreciate Vizio's attempts to find creative solutions to users who need more flexibility. Despite the smart TV woes, we have no qualms about naming the P-Series Quantum X our best HD TV overall for 2019. Even though, com even though the company is a relative newcomer to Quantum Dot technology, Vizio's efforts pay off big time with a TV that can face off against the best, that can face off against the best and hold its own. The real draw is the, the real draw is the value quote. The real draw is the value quotient. All of the TVs that offer all of the TVs that offer incrementally better picture quality cost hundreds, if not thousands, more. The P Series Quantum X is simply that good. The only question left is how Vizio will find a way to improve from here. 
Next at number 4, we have Samsung Ultra Smart QLED HD TV. Samsung truly produces a TV for every purse and purpose, but it's at the high end of the market where the company shines the brightest. These TVs feature a streamlined design with premium materials and offer the best picture quality enhancing technologies to complete the experience. The Q90R is a major update to last year's Q95, to last year's Q9F. It represents the flagship of Samsung's 2019 4K TV lineup and is easily one of the best TVs of 2019. High-end Samsung TVs have carved a niche in the premium, luxury display market and the latest Q90R fits right in. Picking up where the Q9F left off, the Q90R shares the same minimalist vibe with a smaller metallic strip of a bezel that seemingly disappears when the display is switched on. As before, there is an unobtrusive block. As before, there's an unobtrusive block centered at the bottom of the display. It's emblazoned. It's emblazoned with the Samsung logo that and houses the physical controls for the TV. The stand has been redesigned as well. It's now a solid base that seems to fill an empty space of the Q9F's wire style stand. One benefit to this design is that the Q90R is among the rare few TVs left that doesn't require furniture as wide as the TV itself if you choose not to mount it to the wall. If you choose not to mount it to the wall. Samsung's One Connect box returns as well and appears more or less unchanged from last year's iteration. Inputs include four HDMI ports and a trio of, and a trio of USB ports. There's a single cable or antenna input but as before, no support for any analog connectivity otherwise. A Toslink digital optical output handles sound with devices not compatible with ARC and a single Ethernet port is offered for wired internet connectivity. It's been a few years since quantum dot technology became mainstream in LED LCD TVs and the Q90R benefits greatly from the constant refinements. It's hands down one of the best performing TVs on the market today. With inky black levels and accurate saturated colors that can create a better 3D It's hands down one of the best performing TVs on the market today. With inky black levels and accurate with inky black levels and accurate saturated colors that can create a better 3D experience than the gimmicky 3D TVs from earlier in the decade. Compared to OLED TVs, however, compared to OLED TVs, However, we'll cut straight to the chase. An OLED TV can deliver superior black An OLED TV can deliver superior black level performance, but the Q90R comes extremely close. On the other hand, the Q90R can get much brighter. The Q90R can get The Q90R can get much brighter than any OLED TV can, making it an outstanding choice for environments with lots of ambient light. As well, it provides for superior HDR performance in any setting since the lofty brightness levels don't require carefully controlled lighting. Uncharacteristically for an LED LCD TV, the Q90R offers a decently wide viewing angle thanks to its special ultra viewing angle layer. Thanks to its special ultra viewing angle layer. Unlike many other implementations of this technology, the Q90R manages to preserve its impressive black levels and does not suffer from any odd refractions or color shifts. The Q90R receives the latest iteration of Samsung's Tizen Smart TV interface. Among in-house Smart TV suits, it stands out simply because of how intuitively it operates. Out of the box, the Q90R defaults to showing Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, and Hulu Quick Links. The menu is customizable and Samsung's marketplace is comparable. And Samsung's marketplace is comparable. And Samsung's marketplace is comparable to Android, Roku in terms of content. The remote supports voice control as well as Samsung's own Bixby Assistant. Many TV functions can be accessed by issuing voice command. If you have other Samsung SmartThings compatible devices or appliances in your household, the Q90R can be fully integrated into your smart home. The Q90R can be fully integrated into your smart home as well. The Samsung Q90R is certainly an impressive TV and displays no obvious shortfalls in design or performance. 
Its smart TV interface is easy to navigate. Its smart TV interface is easy to navigate and offers tons of content. And the ability to integrate with your smart home ecosystem is an attractive benefit. Where it comes up short is value. Though Samsung's flagship, though Samsung's flagship model is priced like the premium product that it is, the elephant in the room is LG's OLED lineup. The elephant in the room is LG's OLED lineup that offers better picture quality at a comparable price. For the money, we can recommend the Samsung Q90R for two distinct circumstances. You need a TV with outstanding bright room performance, or you tend to leave the screen on a static image for long periods of time. Moving on to the next at number 3 with LG OLED HD TV. LG's OLED TVs are now a known quantity, notably for their world, notably for their world's beating picture quality, absolute zero black levels, and stunningly slim cabinets. With the latest B9 OLED, LG has chosen to refine the formula by keeping the basics while adding extra future-proof technology. As with its direct predecessor, the B8, the latest B9 represents LG's entry-level model in its, OLED, in its OLED lineup. That said, we are hard-pressed to come up with the reasons why anyone looking for picture quality can justify spending more. It takes a keen eye to spot any external differences between the B9 and the model it replaces. Both share the same, impo both share the same impossibly thin bezels and central stand, though we're disappointed to see that the latter is now constructed of plastic instead of metal. That said, it's a non-issue for anyone looking to utilize the wall mount. The lower casing houses all of the inputs. The lower casing houses all of the inputs. You will find four HDMI inputs with full. You will find four HDMI inputs with. with blah, blah, blah. You will find four HDMI inputs with full support for HDMI 2.1 and a trio of USB ports. Non-HDMI audio outputs options include Toslink, optical output, include. Non-HDMI output options include Toslink optical output and a 3.5 mm jack. Analog video support is limited to a cable input and composite video and composite video in Analog video support is limited to a cable input and composite video in though the latter functionality requires its own 3.5 mm breakout cable Rounding out the connectors is a single ethernet port for cases where the Wi-Fi for cases where Wi-Fi is not as attractive the B9 is easily one of the best performing HD TVs of all time. Thanks to the perfect black levels, affordable. Thanks to the perfect black levels afforded by its OLED panel. Even though it can't get as bright as many of the higher end quantum dot LED LCD TVs, this set excels with both standard and HDR content without resorting to eye searing light output. Motion handling and color accuracy are both on par with its predecessor. And that's not a bad thing. The B8 left almost no room for improvement to begin with. However, LED LCD TVs retain one advantage. As with any other OLED TV, the B9 is susceptible to the same burn-in and image retention. In order to mitigate this issue, we recommend cycling content shown on the screen and avoid displaying and avoid displaying static images, scoreboards, or station icon or station icons that can get stuck on the screen over time. For more information, artings.com For more information, artings.com has an excellent series where they document OLED burn in real life. Where they document OLED burn in in real life. LG's WebOS remains one of our favorite smart TV interfaces and the B9 proves no different. The menu structure is straightforward and intuitive and the remote itself can be used as a pointer if you prefer not to use the buttons. All of the most popular channels are supported. Netflix, Amazon or Prime TV, Hulu and YouTube can be found in the quick links and LG's content store offers a wide selection of add-on apps if your favorite 
and LG's content store offers a wide selection of add-on apps if your favorite if your favorites didn't make it into their default selection. LG also provides an app that goes a long way. LG also provides an app that goes a long way towards reducing remote clutter and the whole ecosystem makes an external streaming box a redundant purchase. Rather than rewrite the rulebook, rather than rewriting the rulebook, LG chose to refine an already award-winning design. The only need to pick here is its price. Though OLED TV prices have dropped in general, the B9 remains more expensive than many of the top LED LCD TVs it compares with. If it's ultimate picture quality you're after, nothing else will suffice. The number 2 position is held by Sony Ultrasport LED LCD HD TV. Sony's flagship X950G returns to claim its spot for 2019, boasting outstanding picture quality and an attractive design. In a twist, the company has also kept last year's X900F as the more affordable alternative and insists that the new model exists to supplement the X900F in the model lineup rather than replace it outright. In any case, we are recognizing the X950G for many of the same points that the X900F offered. That the new model is also an excellent value proposition is a pleasant surprise that rounds off one of the best HD TVs sold today. After years of variations on design, Sony seems to have settled on a motive. The X950G appears outwardly identical to the last year's X900F. Save for a slightly redesigned stand, anyone would have forgiven for confusing the two. Either way, the X900F was a very attractive set to begin with and the new X950G could do much worse than repurposing its design. Connectivity is nearly unchanged. Four HDMI ports are present, as are three USB inputs. Unfortunately, HDMI 2.1 didn't make the cut for features this year, so we'll have to wait for next year's model. Analog video connectivity relies on a 3.5mm breakout next year's model. Breakout adapter for composite video only, as well as a single cable or antenna output. The X950G also offers a remote IR input, which is convenient for custom installations. Audio is supported via the aforementioned HDMI ARC or eARC port, as well as Toslink audio output and a single 3.5mm analog audio jack. Finally, a LAN or Ethernet port is present in case you prefer to hardware your TV to your network. Picture quality is largely unchanged from the X900F and we have no complaints. Black levels are impressive and the X950G is one of the most color accurate TVs on sale today, even out of the box. Image processing capabilities are class leading thanks to the X1 Ultimate processor shared with Sony's ultra high end Master Series lineup, and the X950G can smoothly display 24p content even if the feed is 60p or 60i. On the other hand, some detractors remain due to technical limitations. The local dimming feature works very well to deliver deep blacks without blooming or crushing details, but OLED TVs perform better still in this regard. As well, viewing angles remain relatively narrow due to the inherent nature of VA LCD panels. The 75-inch and 85-inch models avoid this shortcoming by including Sony's X wide angle technology, but the price goes through the roof for the larger displays. While it's harder to justify an upgrade if you already own the X900F, anyone upgrading from a 27 or older TV will be hard pressed to find an LED LCD TV with a picture that looks as good. An area where the X950G is a noticeable improvement over the X900F is its smart TV interface. Android TV returns but the new model sees refinements to its core system to allow smoother operation overall. The sheer abundance and variety of apps is unchanged and the X950G comes preloaded with a lot of comes preloaded with all of the favorites including Netflix, Amazon Video, Hulu, and Vudu. The remote also includes a built-in mic for voice control. Because the X950G natively runs Android, the mic can also be used for Google Assistant. As far as smart TV interface go, the X950G gets our nod for one of the best TVs for streaming content. 
The X950G does carry a pricing premium over its direct competitors, but the extra money buys noticeable picture quality improvements through buys noticeable picture quality improvements through Sony's renowned image processing capabilities. We can even go out on a limb and say that the X950G represents good value for money. While it's certainly not cheap, it avoids the eye-watering prices that the OLED TVs and Samsung flagship QLED sets demand. The X950G also remedies one of the only common complaints about the X900F. The sluggish Android TV interface has been refined and now operates without a hitch. It's hard to find faults with the Sony X950G, which is why it's one of our top picks for best HD TVs. Finally, the number one position is dominated by TCL Ultra HD Roku Smart LED LCD TV. TCL was one of the industry standouts last year with its flagship 6 series. Going toe to toe with some of the best performers on the market with a price tag that no other manufacturer could hope to match. For 2019, TCL continues to push the envelope even further by improving picture quality. What's more notable is that the R625 actually sees a price cut of several hundred dollars compared to its direct predecessor. Paired with its Roku interface, it's one of the most impressive HDTV options available in 2019. The R625 has received several refinements to its design. With a slimmer bezel that fits in with modern design themes that favor minimalism. The stand has been redesigned as well, moving to the very edges of the TV. While the new location provides improved stability, it will require furniture wider than the TV itself if wall mounting is not an option. The input selection has been expanded slightly adding one more HDMI port to bring the total count to 4. HDMI 4 supports ART. Unfortunately, the R625 does not add HDMI 2.1 or eART. As before, analog video connectivity is limited to composite video via a 3.5mm jack and a cable or antenna input. Component video is not supported, so you'll need a converter for legacy devices. If your setup does not include an R-capable audio device, the R625 includes a Toslink digital audio output as well as a standard 3.5mm audio input jack. One of the primary reasons that made 2018's R617 so attractive was its outstanding picture quality even without considering the price. The R625 aims to build on last year's model. In addition to the full array local dimming LED backlight, the R625 adds the same quantum dot technology found on many high-end LED LCD TVs. The benefits of the quantum dot layer are difficult to describe in words. The colors appear saturated and lifelike and seem to jump off the screen. Combined with its superb black levels and bright backlight, the R625 delivers a picture that simply can't be matched in this price range. We suggest taking the money you save by choosing the R625 over a more expensive set and investing in a professional calibration for the best possible picture quality. The R625 continues to utilize Roku for its smart TV interface right down to the remote control. Not only does the inclusion of Roku endow the R625 with one of the most user-friendly streaming platforms on the market today, it also benefits from the frequent updates and never-ending content library that comes with any add-on Roku devices. The remote itself offers quick access buttons to launch Netflix, Hulu, ESPN, and Roku's own channel. The built-in microphone enables voice control when it's preferable. Unlike last year, it seems TCL no longer offers an alternate model in the 6 series lineup that omits voice control. The R625 is one of the most impressive performers on the market even before factoring in price. If value is what you're after, the R625 can't be beat. The fact that the R625 costs less than its direct predecessor, it's nothing short of unbelievable. Combined with one of the best smart TV interface options on the market today, the R625 is a no-brainer for anyone shopping for a new TV regardless of budget. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day.
So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.